Welcome back. Today I'll be taking a look at some pretty limited edition wallets from Oraman Leather. Let's check them out. So I'll be taking a look at two of these limited edition wallets from Oraman Leather. This is the cask wallet right here and this is the minimalist wallet. Now, according to the Oraman Leather website, some of these wallets are so limited that there's only one of these available in the specific color. For example, I just checked and this color on the minimalist definitely isn't available or this brown Virgilio wallet. These aren't available anymore. But don't worry if you guys like the style of these wallets here. They do have some cool color combinations and different leather choices available. Now a representative from Oraman Leather reached out to me a long time ago, uh, back in May of 2022 actually, and I'm just getting around to doing this video right now. So I apologize to Oraman and leather for taking so long to get this video out. It's been a crazy year, but let's start out the year right and check out some of these limited edition wallets here from Oraman Leather. Each one of these wallets came in a pouch such as this with the gold Oraman logo right there and a couple thank you cards as you can see. And everything came in this pouch style cardboard packaging right here. But let's start with I'd say let's start with the Minimalist right here. So the Oraman leather, the Minimalist that I have right here is made from Pueblo vegetable tan leather. And you guys know I love Pueblo. Look at the grain and the texture on this leather. I absolutely love it. I don't know the exact colors that I have right here because it's not available on their website anymore, but this seems to be a deep red. Um, it's not a burgundy, but some sort of deep red and a black Pueblo right here on the top. Now this is all hand stitched with Vinimo thread. It's all hand saddle stitched. And I think it's really cool that they went with Vinimo thread over the Ritza Tiger thread. I rarely see this thread used on any wallets these days. So anytime I get to see it, I'm happy. And this is a vertical style leather wrap wallet. They use two pieces of Pueblo leather and everything is stitched with that Vinimo thread right there on the side. And I do like this color combination with this deep dark red with the black with the white thread. I think it looks great. Now being a leather wrap wallet, there are three pockets. One pocket here in the front, one pocket here on the back, and then one internal pocket right dead center. And these three pockets can hold between seven to eight cards plus cash, depending on your card thickness. And now let's talk about the branding. So the Oraman Leather logo is stamped right there in the front and on the very back, it does say Oraman Leather to say, yep, handmade in Scotland right there. And the overall feel of Pueblo is absolutely fantastic. If you guys own Pueblo wallets, you guys know what I'm talking about. But the craftsmanship here from Oraman Leather is top notch, I have to say. All the cuts look extremely clean. Everything is all nicely burnished. I mean, look at the gloss on the outer edge there. It looks fantastic. And now let's do a smell test on the minimalist. Oh. <laughs> It has that same smell as an old baseball glove. I absolutely love the smell of Pueblo. So that covers the features of the Minimalist. Now let's talk about the cask wallet right here. So the limited edition cask wallet is a vertical pouch style wallet with no stitches and a flap. That's right, there's no stitches. It's a single piece of leather that's held together with three tabs right here on the inside of the wallet. There you go, I can give you a better look at it right there. Now when I first took a look at this wallet, I was dead set on blasting this wallet in this video because I figured inserting your cards into this middle pocket, the cards get caught up on these tabs, but you're gonna see in my card test, I haven't really had any issues with that at all. And that's really surprising because I really thought my cards would get caught up inserting the cards back into the wallet. But anyways, let's continue with the features of the cask here. This version right here is the Brown Virgilio Vegetable Tanned Italian Leather. And yes, this one is sold out, unfortunately. And if I give you a close up, you can see the grain of this Brown Virgilio right here. You can see the different color variations right here in the creases. So if I just crease it like that, you can see that beautiful color variation. I absolutely love this leather. The cask wallet features one main pocket right here on the inside, a quick access card slot right here on the back, and then a bill compartment right here that you can put your bills in, fold it in half, and then a tuck closure right there in the front 
to hold the flap. In total, it can hold up to eight cards plus your cash, as I mentioned already, folded in half. And yes, I am a big fan of stitchless wallets. I just love the ingenuity of folding a piece of leather, a single piece of leather, in a way that actually creates something useful and functional. I love it. And just like the minimalist here, everything is nicely burnished. The cuts all look very, very clean. And the branding on the cask wallet is very, very similar to the minimalist. The Oraman leather logo right there on the front and the same um, Oraman leather handmade in Scotland right there on the bottom. And now let's do a smell test on the cask wallet. Okay, so it has the same smell as the minimalist here, but it's not as prominent. So it still smells very good. It's just not as strong as the minimalist right here with the Pueblo. All right, now let's jump into the card test slash card demo test. So let's start with the minimalist. They say it can hold between seven to eight cards plus cash. So I have eight cards right here. And basically what I'm gonna do is this is how I would carry it. I'm gonna put one card in the two front quick access card pockets right there. So that's two cards. Then I would put the rest of the cards, the six in this middle pocket, which if you guys watch my channel, you guys know that I am not a big fan of accessing cards in the middle pocket like this that are sandwiched in between two other card pockets. Only because these two cards right here create a wall and it's difficult to get the cards out of this middle pocket here. But you can see just based on this design that Oraman Leather gave us a little bit of a cut right there and that exposes these cards in the middle. So it makes it just a little bit easier to get these cards out of the middle here. So I am a fan of that design choice with that little cutout right there. Even though it's not my favorite design for a wallet, um, it works a lot better than most wallets of this style. And of course, getting the cards out of the front quick access card pockets, not a problem at all. Of course, this is a newer wallet as the nature of leather. This will break in over time with use. But you can see this being a leather wrap wallet, if I just give it a squeeze here, it looks like I can still fit some bills in there. So let me see how many bills I can get in there. So I'm gonna start with five American dollar bills. Yes, you do have to fold your bills into quarters or thirds for the minimalist here. And oh yeah, that's not a problem at all. So five bills, eight cards, easy. So now let's demonstrate the cask wallet here. I'm gonna take seven of these cards. I'm gonna fit these right into this middle pouch right there. And you can see it just gobbles those cards up with no problem. And now I'll put this eighth card right here in this quick access card slot right there on the back and tuck in the flap. Eight cards, absolutely, all day long. Now, since the cask here has a dedicated cash compartment right here on the back, I'm gonna start with 10 American dollar bills folded in half, and you can see that 10 bills back there, not a problem at all, and I'll just tuck it in so you guys can see what this looks like with 10 bills and eight cards. And I love wallets with this design right here where you don't have to take the flap out to access your bills. All you have to do is just give it a little squeeze right here and you can take your bills out and stick them back in there without having to open the wallet. I love that feature. And if you guys were wondering if you can unfold your bills and just put them in whole, if that will work, these are American dollar bills. So I don't know if any other foreign currency are gonna be shorter than American dollar bills, but you can see when they're folded up, American dollar bills just go past that flap. So I'm gonna say no to unfolded bills in this wallet, but fold it in half all day long. You can still fold your bills into quarters or thirds if you want to, but why would you? And if you absolutely had to, you can still use this little tuck closure right there to add another card right there in the front. So you can have a quick access card slot right there on the back a card tucked into the tuck closure right there, seven cards in the main pouch, and at least 10 bills in the cash compartment right there. I believe I can still keep stuffing cards in here, but I'm just gonna stop right here at the maximum. And you guys can see what I'm talking about with these tabs that are folded inside of the pouch. I just insert all seven cards right here, and I'm not really having an issue with those tabs stopping the cards from going in. It did happen once when I first receive this wallet, but you can see I'm taking these cards in and out and I'm not really having any issues with any of those tabs stopping my cards from going in. But I feel like if I accidentally jam all these cards in at once and bend one of these pieces, that could be a problem. 
if it doesn't want to bend back. But as of right now, I just don't see a problem with these tabs being inside of the pouch, which I thought I would have problems with. So there you have it. I never heard of Oraman Leather before they contacted me back in May of 2022. And I sort of wish I recorded this video a lot sooner because I really do like the offerings here from Oraman Leather. I am a big fan of leather wrap wallets of this style. I love minimalist wallets, but I see this style of wallet all the time. The cask wallet, on the other hand, is super original. I haven't seen this design before, not exactly this design. So if I had to pick one of these wallets to carry on an everyday basis, I probably would go with the cask wallet here. I feel as if it's more functional to carry on an everyday basis. It could hold my seven cards that I carry every day extremely well. And the functionality of this cash compartment right here, I absolutely love. My only concern would be uh, creasing this leather on the inside with the tabs and making it just annoying to insert your cards back into this pouch, but I haven't had that problem yet. Not taking anything away from the minimalist right here. Like I said, I usually gravitate towards wallets of this nature, but I have so many of these style wallets, I don't have anything like the cask wallet here. And now let's talk about price. The cask wallet right here is $59. Um, I'm not sure if that changes with the different leather choices. And I'm on the website right now. It looks like it doesn't change if you choose the Pueblo or the Virgilio leather. Let me see if it changes if you choose the Koala. Nope, doesn't even change with the Koala. So the Cask Wallet, limited edition, 59 bucks. If you see a color you like, grab it because like they say, there could be only one available in that color. And now the minimalist wallet right here, they're asking just a little bit more money at $88 for this wallet. So $88 for the minimalist, $59 for the cask wallet. And if you ask me, I think the better value is right here in the cask wallet, 59 bucks, extremely original. I like the styling, I like the functionality, very nice. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What are your thoughts on the Aura Man Leather, the Minimalist, and the Cask Wallet? Now, if you wanna check out either one of these wallets for yourself, I will have links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go. No, 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 no. And go!